So this is one of those rare occasions where you get to meet both a legend and one of his products all in one day. Uh, we've been riding this bike here, which is the Suta MMX 500. And uh, this is the, the genius behind it all. This is Eskil Suta, ex-Grand Prix rider, and now amazing man that builds spectacular chassis, etc., and motorcycles um, for, for the racing world. So Eskil, I've, I've got to start by asking you, how did this project first come about? Yeah, like uh, we have uh, a lot uh, of material around. You know, we, we develop uh, two stroke uh, engines before. We have uh, gearboxes there. We knew how to make uh, the rest of the bike. And then uh, one day we had a crazy idea. Let's build one of these nice 500 four cylinder two strokes because there really never was available on the market, you know, for, 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 for public. So we decided uh, it's a crazy idea, but uh, let's do a little bit as a hobby by side, you know, let's start this project and uh, see how it goes along. So how has it gone? I mean, here you are with finished motorcycles, you're going to be producing 99 of these for sale to the general public. But how smooth has the whole project gone? Yeah, it was uh, sometimes very nice and easy, sometimes it was hard times. Um, we decided one time to go for one 44 cylinder volume, each cylinder means uh, 580 cc in general, to overcome that torque hole as the old 500 always had. And with, uh, with a little bit more volume you see the torque curve uh, will be much nicer. And um, this uh, actually gives us a lot of additional work. But you, because you started off originally with a 500cc concept, that was the original plan, wasn't it, for 500, and then you went to the, the 576. Um, so what prompted that? Was it just the, the engine performance you wanted that a bit more torque? So 576, the bigger cylinders made more sense. Yeah, also to, to make the bike more reliable. Um, to, to not squeeze it out like the old 500, where we, we you know, to, to get uh, the power out, you, you really uh, go to the limit with the setting and everything. With a little bit more volume, we still can do the same performance without going to the, so much to the limit. It makes the bike more reliable, more rideable, more user-friendly, and also the service intervals get even longer. So it's, so it's good all around. Um, so the, the chassis on this bike here, it's a unique chassis for this bike. How different is it though to the products that you're producing for the Grand Prix? Ah, in general, you know, we have uh, gained that all, all that, uh, that knowledge how a chassis should, should behave. You know, the flexibility, the geometry and, and, and the legal aspects uh, which are attached with the, the economic point and so on. Um, so in general, the figures with the chassis is about the same as we use in the Moto2 or Moto GP bikes. Um, for sure, the, the overall geometry is more Moto GP and the flexibility is a little bit more like Moto2. Um, but this, every part is new on this bike. It's nothing taken from the, off the shelf and uh, from, from another project. Wow, that's, uh, that's a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, because uh, you know this engine is so small, so narrow. You you, you cannot uh, use a four-cylinder inline just, which is very wide. So that we have to produce new than uh, the swing arm uh, on a, on a, with a two-stroke. You cannot do an upside-down swing arm because of the exhaust system. So you need to be a conventional one. And uh, finally, we need all the things new for sure, like uh, the chain adjusters and things like that. We carry over because these are nice products in titanium and stuff. Yeah or on all our bikes common. So this bike at the moment makes just under 200 horsepower. Is there any potential to get any more? Do you want to get any more power from the engine? Yeah, for sure. We can do a, a one liter. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. One day maybe we have a crazy idea. Or we put a, a, a supercharger on it, you know. Right. There are some ideas which we are developing in the background, which may be the next uh, MMX 500 will be a different bike uh, will be something even more spectacular. Um, but let's finish first this one and then go to the next step. So you probably put this bike through the, the toughest of tests most recently with the unlocker at the TT. In your own words, how would you sum up the, uh, the, the 2016 Alaman TT? Yeah, the idea to go to the TT is like uh, our, our slogan, prove the passion. Uh, proved the passion in a, on the hardest uh, race uh, on the world with the strongest two-stroke machine, and we really 
uh, get the feedback from all the fans around the world. There was thousands of uh, fans and emails, and you know, even on the Isle of Man, I don't know how many hundred or thousand fans come to the Isle of Man only to see that bike because there is a world where so many tool stroke enthusiasts uh, like to see uh, a nice 500 again on the road. And uh, this was really amazing uh, how, how much impact this uh, adventure had. Yeah, well, it's magnificent. And having ridden this bike today, you know, it's, it's really blown me away. I, I said earlier that it's it's been an education for me as much as anything. I didn't realise bike that bikes like this existed, and uh, yeah, it's been spectacular. Um, so just to kind of round off, really, so like we said earlier, 99 of these models are going to be produced. When are they going to start coming to market? When should people start putting their orders in? How much are the bikes going to cost, and uh, and when might they be in place to get the bikes? Well, now we are on the on the process to assembly the first uh, few bikes uh, for the for the customer, which already have uh, ordered. Uh, um, the first batch of 20 bikes is uh, like this on the way. So we assemble maybe five, five, five uh, to go through the, the batch, uh, and then we set up the next 20, the next 20 machines. But the first 20 are more or less uh, sold. And, uh, the the interest is quite huge. Even the price from uh, 120,000 Swiss francs, which is about 108,000 euro, is a, is a high price, but you actually get the fact the machine, which was some years before you pay one million you know, to get the yeah. same. So, but with serious, uh, we can produce, we can reduce the price uh, to the, the, the 120,000. Wow, that's, that's pretty spectacular. So, the message is get your orders in soon because it is a limited number. You don't want to miss out on these bikes. Cheers, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>